What's up guys? Do me a favor, if you've ever been on a zoo dive, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't been on a zoo dive yet, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you will be at some point. Um, anyways, I'm out here barbecuing. It is steak night at the Pern Dog household. And I have just read some rumors about the GoPro Hero 8. I'm calling it the Ocho. Um, as you guys know, I've been using this sucker, the Hero 7 Black, for about eight or nine months now. And um, I love it. It's one of my favorite cameras. And um, I love the, all the features built in here. So um, I'm kind of excited about the Hero 8. There's a couple things that are changing that I think are gonna be super cool. So let's get into some of the specs here. Uh, spec number one, things I'm getting really excited about is it's gonna shoot 4K at 120 frames per second. You guys, 120 frames per second in 4K. Uh, if you're like me and you like those buttery smooth shots you've been getting with 60 FPS, um, this is a game changer. It's gonna be huge. Um, it's gonna do 1080p 480. What? That's ridiculous. Um, and it seems like uber, super slow-mo. But look, if you're trying to diagnose like a canopy problem, you're having a deployment issue, or um, you're having a slider hang up, flip that camera around, put it on the highest frame rate possible. Film your opening. It's gonna give you so much information about what's going on. So useful. Um, I don't know if I'll use it other than that or just doing ridiculous slow-mo stylized stuff, but whatever. Number two, uh, it's a new chipset. So the Hero 7, I don't know if you guys were aware of this, but the Hero 7 actually has the same chip in it that the Hero 6 did. Um, so the big improvement was they got that hyper smooth stabilization, which actually uses the gyroscopic measurement and the GPS to figure out where your camera, is, how the camera is moving and then pick frames to stabilize. So that's actually pretty interesting. Um, the new chipset could mean improvements in color accuracy which would be great because I'm not a big fan of the, the Hero 7's um, raw footage. I, I just have trouble grading it and it's not like I know much about that anyways. But um, it, it's I don't like the GoPro color, it's a little oversaturated and, and I want that raw footage to be able to process and, and match with my DSLR. So um, improved color accuracy would be great. Uh, probably improvements in video stabilization because the Hero 7 Black, I mean, stabilization is cool as long as you're not panning. If you were on a jump before, right, and you're free falling, there's no one in the frame, and you like move your head like this, it would like slide and then lock, and then slide and then lock, um, which is a very weird thing because you get no sense of like where the person is actually moving in free fall space. Um, as long as you were filming and you had the subject in the frame the whole time, it was great, but you had to get some distance because it does crop in about 10%. Um, I've actually turned it off for now for my skydives. I think the shaky cam is going to do a little better deal. Um, hopefully, it's going to mean better low light. That's one of the real hang-ups I have on the, the uh, Hero 7 Black, is that the low light just stinks, you guys. We, we took it to Disney World and we go on these rides. A lot of times I had ISO set to max uh, out at 800, where I set it up to 1600, and there's just way too much noise and graininess in the footage. So improved low light would be huge because right now it's it's a daytime camera. Let's not mess around. Um, oh, it has a new uh, uh, cage. So the new oh, there's an ant on my lens. <laughs> it's a fire ant, you guys. <laughs> Get out of here. Um, so there's a new cage to house it, right? And in this corner, the image shows what looks to be maybe an external microphone. Please have an external microphone that would be sweet built into the cage. Um, it also has a hot shoe mount here, and they had uh, a little LED light on one side, and they also had um, a screen, an LCD screen. LED? LCD screen? Whatever. They had a screen so that you could like look at it and vlog. Um, I, I hope that's not an additional accessory. I really hope that it has a flip-up screen like the DJI um, Osmo, action, whatever the DJI Osmo action cam is. Um, 
that one had a flip up screen. I think that would be a great improvement. Plus the improved sound quality would be dope. Oh, an external microphone. The sound sucks, you guys. Um, it really does. What else? Um, yeah, I would like to see that. Better low light, less noise when you're at a high ISO. Uh, the external microphone would be cool. Flip up LEDs, the flip up screen would be sick. So they're supposed to announce this uh, in September next month. And I'm kind of excited to see what they come up with. It's just a rumor right now, but as you guys know, I love this camera, I'm a big advocate for this camera. So I wanted to share that info with you guys is in case you're not as plugged in to the weirdo tech news like I am. Um, Cause I think that's, it's gonna be pretty cool. So just rumors for now, but we're gonna learn pretty soon um, what GoPro is coming out with and what that means for skydivers because we need these small form format cameras. You can't, you can't put your cell phone on your freaking head, you know. Um, we need these to document our skydives and, and it's a really great camera. So yeah, excited to see what GoPro comes out with next. I'm excited to see what the competition comes out with next. There's so many. There's a Sony RX0, there's the D DJI Osmo Action Cam or whatever it's called. Um, a lot of cool stuff coming out. So thanks again you guys for subscribing and for watching the channel. We appreciate it. Again, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and I just want to let you know we got a lot planned for the channel a lot of big projects coming down um, and I want to keep expanding this channel uh, I really get a lot of, out of it and I hope you guys do as well so thanks so much uh, we'll see you guys back in the sky sometime soon <laughs>